What's going on, y'all? Welcome to The Truth Don't Hurt, where the truth doesn't hurt, it just hurt coming from me. I wanted to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles real fast, right? Because, look, I don't rock with the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's just put this out there, but the truth is the truth. So the head coach and Jalen Hurts is getting heavy criticism. I'm not saying that they should, not saying it's not deserved. But the firing of them, no, this is the same duo, head coach slash quarterback duo, that took you to the Super Bowl. And you had an opportunity, you know? This is the same duo that you're in the playoffs the following year. And could possibly still win the division. Look, <laughs> for what that head coach has to deal with, it's, an, it's amazing that he even got the Philadelphia Eagles to this point. With no talent on that defense, the secondary is atrocious. Your linebacker play is atrocious, <laughs> right? Your D line is it's it's all right, it's cool. <laughs> the quarterback play. Now look, I was the first one to say that that's a quarter, that's a running back playing quarterback. But when I looked at the film, look, he still has his flaws. But when he the way he processing things, especially early on, it looked a whole lot better than what he did last year. If he since since people want to go off stats, look at his stats. <laughs> you know what I mean? They have a play that many teams struggle to stop. Look how many touchdowns he's throwing for. When it came down to losing against the Cardinals, that wasn't his fault. Your defense is sorry as hell. A.J. Brown wasn't crying when he was getting over 100 yards a game. So he got a quarterback that can give him the ball. Devontae Smith got a quarterback that can give him the ball. Dallas Goddard got a quarterback that can give him the ball. How about you get back to what you were doing last year? They're talking about they don't have no identity. The identity that you had last year should still be the identity you have this year. You need to be running the damn ball. You need to be making sure that he used the legs. Now, like I said, quarterback play has been atrocious. But people like Josh Allen, this, this quarterback's in the league that's playing a whole lot worse than what Jalen Hurts is playing. This, the, you could count on one hand, and you don't need the whole hand on how many quarterbacks is proficient and scanning that defense. Stafford. Burrow. Mahomes. That's a different video. Not saying I'm not taking nothing from the two-time Super Bowl winner. But that's a different video. Even Lamar, who's playing so great. Doesn't have the best eyes when it comes down to what he sees. You can get away with quarterback play, with, with less than stellar quarterback play in today's game. Today's game is soft. The coaching is soft. The play is soft. The players are soft. What you're seeing with Joe Flacco, what you're seeing with, 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 with Stafford is the product of them having to have that level of play to survive and be good in an air which requires you to be better than what it does today. There's average players that really shouldn't have success. Success is having success because of the state of the game today. Now, let's go back to the Philadelphia Eagles. What Jalen Hurt doing with that team and that coach doing with that team? Y'all better put some respect on their name. You been new when you paid that boy that money. He got to grow into the quarterback position. How long he been quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles? What? This is what? What, three years maybe? Get that boy some time. You give all the other quarterbacks some time. 
Give us some time. It's like Lamar needed some time. Get a boy some time. Get a boy some time. You paid him. You stuck with him. <laughs> How about you go, man? There's moves in the front office. That's moves that's hindering you today. You shouldn't have let go of TJ Edwards. Very good linebacker. Why you didn't pay him? Or why you didn't why you why you didn't draft? Why why was you so cheap at that position? Hmm? Why you didn't choose them? You tried to upgrade the secondary with uh with the tight safety. But you could have did a whole lot better. So don't get up in here and try to put all this blame when it's a whole team blame. A.J. Brown is one of the most crybaby-ass receivers in the league. Soft-ass boy, go play ball. You worried about what somebody's saying on Twitter. Soft-ass boy, go play ball. I've been told, well... I wasn't on record because I wasn't on YouTube talking about this sports content, though. But I've been said that he is a high caliber <laughs> number two wide receiver. Yes, I did. I see other quarterbacks <laughs> like DeAndre. I'm not quarterbacks, but wide receivers. Even with trash ass quarterback play, still bold. If you him, you him. I'm not saying A.J. Brown suck because he don't suck. You're a very good wide receiver. <laughs> and, 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 and the situation that he got, and, I, and I've been set on record. I said, look, who he going to right now? It ain't going to be too much of a difference from when he was getting thrown the ball from Ryan Tannehill. Now he crying. But last year he wasn't crying, though. You, in the, you better be in the playoffs. What you crying for? Ball out. Help your quarterback out. Get open. Make it an easy target. Because there's going to be a whole lot of Dallas Gal Goddard in these playoffs. I can assure you that. Whole lot of dollars, Dallas Goddard. So, man, y'all got to understand what a number one wide receiver is and what a good team is. And what you see in that quarterback. Because you don't go here and people don't crucify Josh Allen. They still consider Josh Allen the lead. And he can't read the defense and save his goddamn life. That boy threw like, what, four or five interceptions against one team? What, the Jets? We ain't trying to hear about none of that. Crucify that boy like you crucify Hurts. That's all I'm saying, man. Know what y'all seeing. A lot of people don't know what they seeing. And just because they professionals, <laughs> that don't mean they have a, a professional eye when they come out of the game. That just mean that, hey, you were just one of the chosen ones to go ahead and play at that game and have opportunity to change your life and change your family's life. <laughs> that don't mean you know what you're seeing. I can promise you that. Because there's a whole bunch of people who ain't played that game that see it a whole lot better than what you see. <laughs> Because some of y'all little so-called professionals, coaches or whatever, I mean, y'all eye for the game suck. <laughs> Straight up. Y'all y'all eye for the game suck. <laughs> y'all don't know what y'all see. So uh, we can keep it real on that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. I mean, y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this content. We gone.